if you remember we had discussed in the case of multiplication of integers uh, we discussed that multiplication of integers always follow associative property what does that mean that means if you have a times b times c then then always it will be a times b times c this will be equal to a times b times c so in the first case you have grouped together a and b that is you can first multiply a and b and then whatever product you get after multiplying a and b you can then multiply that product with c and this will be equal to a times b times c that is you can group together b and c first whatever product you get from this you can then multiply with a this will be equal and therefore uh, the multiplication of integers is said to follow associative property is it true for division also that is uh, will division of integers also follow this associative property let's check so suppose you have uh, three integers say we have integers uh, say what we can take let's take 8 divided by minus 4 and this is divided by 2 now if this 8 divided by minus 4 and then this whole divided by 2 will be equal to 8 divided by minus 4 and this divided by 2 if this is the condition okay then we can say that the division will follow the associative property i mean division of integers will follow the associative property let's check first go for this one this one so from the first one you get if you divide 8 by minus 4 then if you remember that if your division has one negative integer then the final the result of that division will be a negative number so you can put minus here and then simply divide 8 by 4 okay so if you divide 8 by 4 what you will get you will get 2 right so minus 2 and then you are left with this 2 divided by 2 and this will be equal to minus 1 okay now let's check for second one if you do it for this one that, that is this is 8 divided by now this is minus 4 divided by 2 you have one negative integer in your division therefore your result of this division will have a minus sign okay this will have a minus sign and now if you divide 4 by 2 you'll get 2 so this is 8 divided by minus 2 now again only one negative integer in a division therefore you will have minus sign in the result of this division and then simply divide 8 by 2 8 divided by 2 will be 4 so the result of this division of this whole division is minus 4 so in the first case it was minus 1 in the second case it is minus 4 of course minus 1 is not equal to minus 4 therefore this is not equal to the second case now since this is not equal minus 1 is not equal to minus 4 that is a out result of this one is not equal to the result of this one therefore we can say that division of integers will not follow associative property and you can check it with other examples like in you, you can take any three integers and or four integers and then you just go on you know following this the same steps and you can check that division of integers in any case i mean in, uh, will usually not follow uh, uh, this associative property like if you have some numbers where you can you can have like equal uh, result in both cases but it should always that the condition should be satisfied always there should not be even a single uh, case where uh, this condition uh, is if, if there's any even a single condition where this case where this condition is not followed that is both these two should be equal then we will say that no associative property is not 
possible for uh, division of integers.